I got a question right quick. What's up with all you people who are lowering your four-wheel drives in the back end like that? I don't get it. I thought a four-wheel drive was supposed to be jacked up, man, and looking where you get in mud and do stuff, pull a big heavy trailer with it, stuff like that. That right there is anything but that. Comment down below and let me know. Yeah, give me. I just put my fingers on my glasses. It's Saturday. You see the pile here. We're rolling on through the, through the day. It's about mid-morning, Saturday morning. And uh, we got up yesterday, got up to uh, 48 degrees. And today, it's supposed to get on way up in the 50s. And tomorrow, which is Sunday, it's supposed to get up 60 and be raining Monday. Which is a uh, big difference because we had, uh, we had a 7-degree morning, an 8-degree morning, and then a 13-degree morning. Uh, 13 was yesterday morning. We've had some severe cold here. We had a good day today. <laughs> so just now I'm about to go up here and get Dad. Dad's stuck in the county road. Phillips coming up on the 6.30 to get it. But I said I was going to address something in my video about my loader boom. We had a guy comment that said to take my boom anytime working on those hoses up there to take my boom and tuck it all the way in up under me. If I pull that boom all the way in, it's going to send that boom straight up in there about 30 feet. Notice the cylinders up underneath it. So it's going to make it go up. You can't tuck your boom on this machine. An excavator, which is boom, which is what Kevin is running, you notice the cylinders on top. You can tuck your boom all the way up under you, but you can on this one. Even if you could tuck your boom all the way up under it where it pulled the lines where it was where it was just a bow. Those six wire hoses, I don't care what you do with them, they're tough to work on. They're tough. So I'm on, I got my GoPro right here, waiting on Philip to get up here on the 630. I'm going right up to County Road. I'll take y'all with me so we can retrieve uh, Dad right quick. I can't, the last truck, and he's stuck in the middle of the County Road. easier to run than the John Deere, ain't it? A lot easier to run. We go up here and get Granddaddy. I ain't sure how good y'all gonna be able to see. I'm fixing to get you on my phone here. Check it. This thing will come up right quick. Go get that. Yes, yeah,
probably can't see his roof starting to come apart right here on this hill.
morning we'll let off the brakes on the trailer. Alright, let the trailer kind of start rolling a little bit.
Well, that was not the way I wanted to spend the last little bit of the afternoon getting that out of the ditch. But sometimes that's how it works. I actually filmed the closure, or I thought I filmed the closure on my GoPro on the way back in the 6.30, but when I turned around, I had an SD card error. A GoPro can be the most aggravating camera that there is. Uh, I wouldn't buy one unless you're wanting a point of view camera. That's the only thing they're good for is running is inside the calves in tight areas. That's really the only thing that they're good for is that right there. Other than that, they're useless. Don't ever, you know, camera like I'm using right now that y'all watching this on. They're no, they they don't even compare to this. But I'm about to load up Tater, and then I'm going deer hunting. We still got. I put out a deer hunting video this morning. Or no, a dog video this morning. We still got a lot of deer season left. I hunt deer in Alabama till February the tenth. Mississippi, I still got 11 more days in Mississippi. Goes to January the 31st. So we still got a good bit of time left. Uh, I have had a good season, a real good season, but uh, um, I'm gonna load Tater up, take in with me, cause we're gonna run the feeders tonight, check cameras, all that stuff once I get down and uh, get all that done. That run, well, I can do it out. I don't need my, I got coats in my truck here. So if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. Uh, all my merchandise, my shirts, caps, all of that stuff is in the link right below. Take you right to my website, cotton.3.com. And if you want any of the stuff like I use, uh, these glasses, these Costa glasses, uh, my impacts, all of that stuff, if you want the model numbers, any of that stuff, there's a link, there's an Amazon link right down below. It will open up on an Amazon page that has every bit of my stuff right there. So, like, I, I get an incredible amount of questions now about model numbers and stuff like that. Just click that link. It'll take you right over. I think I've got everything that I use, including, like, these glasses, is all right there. You can either buy them there or you can go somewhere else on the Internet and get them or locally and get them, whatever. doesn't matter to me. So, for now, I'm going to load these dogs up. I'm sitting on my Polaris 700. Head in the woods. We will catch y'all later. Later, Titers. Speed. Come on. What is it, Turbo? Speed. Tater, speed. Come on, you ready to go? Huh?